Thor doesn't have a mighty hammer, but rather utilizes directed energy to disable the electronics in drones. You don't need to be a Marvel superheroes fan to know that Thor is the god of thunder. Now the US Army is calling in the godlike powers, not of Thor but rather Thor, the tactical high power operational responder. This system which was developed by the United States Air Force Research Laboratories, AFRL's, Directed Energy Directorate at Kirtland Air Force Base, AFB, can address the increasing threat posed by enemy drones and other airborne threats. While still in the prototype stage, Thor doesn't have a mighty hammer, but rather utilizes directed energy to disable the electronics in drones. It was specifically engineered to counter multiple targets including drone swarms with rapid results. It is compact enough that the platform can be housed in a 20-foot-long shipping container and can thus be stowed and transported via a military cargo plane, and when deployed in the field can be assembled by just two people. And much like the fictional Avengers, this is clearly a team effort that involves the Army and Air Force. The Army's directed energy capabilities will need to provide a layered defense with multiple ways to defeat incoming threats. High-energy lasers kill one target at a time, and high-powered microwaves can kill groups or swarms, which is why they are pursuing a combination of the two technologies for an effort to rapidly prototype and direct fire protection capabilities. They partnered with the Air Force Research Laboratory to give the Army a head start in high-power microwave missions, and look forward to continuing to advance this capability to protect the fighters. The AFRL Thor program has taken on the challenge to design, build and test an effective counter UAS, unmanned aerial systems, that could engage many targets at once, and at long distances. High-power microwaves have been seen as one solution to this challenge. Thor program manager Amber Anderson says, that the system output is a powerful burst of radio waves, which offers a wider range than a bullet or net, and the effects are muted and instantaneous. Thor may not have to battle super villains, but rather it is addressing a rather serious emerging threat to US military bases, personnel and infrastructure. The platform is now in the prototype stage and is undergoing a series of risk reduction and system characterization efforts at Kirtland AFB, along with hands-on soldier touchpoints that solicit input from operational users during the testing. Thor, and other DE systems, 
provide non-kinetic defeat of multiple targets at once. Keeping soldiers safe is number one priority, and the U.S. Army need to employ effective defensive weapons systems to stay ahead of the changing threats presented by adversaries.